Today I'm going to show you how to create one of these interactive 360 panoramas using a few simple tools and a DJI Mavic Mini. We'll be using DroneLink. DroneLink is autonomous flight control software that we'll be using to control the drone to capture the perfect series of photos. We'll be using the DJI Mavic Mini and we'll be using a program called Hoogan to stitch it all together. As far as I'm aware, DroneLink is the first autonomous flight control software to work with the Mavic Mini. Uh, I'm going to take it for a spin today and see if I can make one of these 360 photos. So I'm not going to go into a whole DroneLink tutorial as I'm just learning how to use the software myself. Uh, but if you like and subscribe here, I'll, I'll make more videos as I learn more of these features. The first thing you need to do is pick a cool location. I mean, this will work in your backyard, but having some nice scenery is always a good thing. We're going to go to Albion Falls near Hamilton, Ontario. For this operation, make sure everything is up to date on your Mavic Mini, including firmware and the DJI Fly app on your device. You should also have DroneLink installed and ready to go. The first and most important thing you have to do before any drone flight is to assess the area for safety concerns and scope out where the best place to launch from is. I always like to give the drone a lot of overhead space in case you have to activate return to home. Once you have your Mavic Mini set up and ready to go, launch the DJI Fly app on your device and double check all the limits and safety systems are suitable for your operation. For this, I'm going to limit it to 500 meters away from me and 122 meters altitude. Now you have to completely exit from DJI Fly. Make sure you cancel it in the background and then start DroneLink. Once DroneLink has connected to the device, select Functions and load the 360 panorama function. Once DroneLink is loaded and everything is safe, launch the drone and fly to a location where you want to take a panorama. Now that you're in position, push the play button to execute the panorama. The DroneLink app is now completely in control of the Mavic. It will control the drone and gimbal to take a series of overlapping pictures. I'm going to take a few of these from some other spots while I've still got lots of battery left. Each panorama should contain 23 photos. I'm going to copy them into a folder to stay organized. Now open Hoogan and follow the steps. Again, I'm not going to do a whole tutorial on how to use this software, but it's pretty straightforward and I'll slow down over the most important steps. In step one, the software analyzes the photos and creates the panorama. In step two, you can make adjustments. And in step three, you export everything. You should now have a really cool 360 photo that you can show off. I did some post-processing in Photoshop and added our logo in the sky. I'm going to put links in the description to DroneLink Hoogan and the pictures I created in this video. Thanks for watching.